Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Got something I've been wanting to try. Um, it's recently came to Oklahoma. This is the Yingling, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, traditional lager. It's an original amber beer. Um, it says America's oldest brewery since 1829. It's a 4.5% ABV. Did I say that yet? Brewed under supervision of DG Yingling and Son Incorporated, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, by the Yingling Company, Fort Worth, Texas. 24 ounce beer. I saw this. I've been looking. I've been wanting to try a single of it. This was three dollars and forty-five cents. I don't like paying that much for for these for this size of beer, but it's like. You know, I want to try it. I want to see, is it worth $3.45? I don't know. I'm not doing some stuff outside. This sounds good. I like ambers. Even, even kind of has a, a little bit of an amber head to it. Has a tinting to the head. Ooh. Lager characteristics too. Well, that's that's pretty. Kind of a copper. You hear some weird noises in the background. It's my radio. It's kind of, it's not on the station. It's, it's having trouble keeping a signal. So it's look, sounding funny. If it had music going, I'd have to deal with it because I, I can't have music going on here. Um, <clears throat> it's keeping about a two finger head. The head is pretty soapy foamy looking bubbles <clears throat> kind of has that frothy look to it like like you get with the you know with the real root beer you know that keeps a head and kind of has that or or kind of like a like what you get with like a root beer float if you have ice cream involved, it kind of has that kind of a appearance. I was wondering if I could get this whole thing in there. <clears throat> yeah, that's 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 beautiful. I like that. Hmm has kind of that uh, the woody kind of barley malt uh, aroma a little bit, little bit of like a white bread white bread crust sweetness <clears throat> did I say sweetness Get the lagerish aroma, like I mentioned. It's hard to tell if they use corn syrup, but that's possible, I guess. I haven't watched many reviews, really hardly at all of this, so I don't know what other people are saying. Other people that research, you know, their beers before they review them, they have a little bit of an idea of what they're getting. I don't do that so much. But, but it smells really good. It has a nice quality aroma to it. it. Has, you know, an amber aroma, you know, like what you get in amber type beers, amber lagers. Okay, let's see what this thing's like. Oh, 
wow. Ooh. That's pretty smooth. Light carbonation, about a medium body on it. Um, nice flavor, flavorsome beer. It has the amber characteristics, not, not a full amber characteristic for me, like what I get in amber beers, but it's there and it tastes good, good, it tastes good in there. Um, <clears throat> has a nice sweet taste. It, it puts off like it, like it, like it very well might have a corn syrup additive to it. Um, the barley malts, it has that, you know, the, the brown bread crust kind of characteristic going on in there too. Um, like I get in a lot of these kind of beers. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's, it's medium sweetness is right up front and it fades off into a real light, light bitterness. It's not hardly there, but it's just really light. You know what I mean? Um, it's really good though. It's a, it's a good beer. Head is sticking around. It has a little lacing going on. It's very drinkable. It's a very refreshing type beer. <clears throat> so this is the original amber beer from Yingling. Now they have a green, green bottled beers. I got a. I guess that maybe that's not a it's not an amber it's just a excuse me it's just a traditional lager one I guess I'll have to try that out next I didn't see a can of it otherwise I would have got one of those too but uh, there you go wow it's a good quality beer it's probably it's it's one I would probably buy pretty regularly because it's got a good it's got a good flavor to it 4.5 percent abv makes it you know more i mean even more sessionable and drinkable for doing this kind of stuff outside it's a good social beer um yeah good stuff i like it there you go <clears throat> thank you for watching i appreciate it and we will see you on the next one bye